All right, Grandpa. So what year, if you remember, what year did you and Grandpa meet? Oh, my God. I know. It started with a tough one. Let's see. <clears throat> we met in... I just got out of high school. And I met uh, Grandpa that year, because that, that's the year Grandpa went into the service. 1941. You met Grandpa in 1941. Mm -hmm. How did you guys meet? Do you remember where? Oh, yes. Where? We were at uh, on 38th and uh, Kedzie. They had a dance over there. Had like a hall? Yeah. Uh, like spinders. Spinders, huh? Yeah, Spinders. 38th and Kedzie. 38th and Kedzie. Uh, they had a dance over there. And Aunt Lorraine and Aunt Helen. All of us were, you know, over there. And there was a, 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 there was a guy sitting next to me. He was drunk. Drunker than a skunk. Uh-huh. And he, oh, he kept bothering me. Come on, let's dance. Let's dance. And I <laughs> said, you're so bad drunk. I said, you're going to knock me over. <laughs> so then when I, your father was sitting right there, or your grandpa brother was sitting right around there. <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> I told him, I says, oh, get rid of this guy. I says, come on, let's dance. Oh, really? So from that time on, it seemed like uh, we always, we would meet <clears throat> at Jumbo Hut on our Travnia. And uh, so we'd always have uh, ice cream. You and Grandpa always and, went on dates at... No, we weren't on any dates. Oh, you just meet up there? We just met there. At, what was it called? Jumbo Huts? Jumbo Hut. For ice cream? For ice cream. We'd go there. You know, with the group, <clears throat> all of the girls. And all the guys knew you were going to be there? I don't, I don't know if they knew we were going to be there. So did but you? We got there the same time. Okay. It seemed like they were there. And, uh, you know, Grandma didn't give them uh, much money. So he couldn't take me out on any dates or anything. So, uh, do you set now, or was it January, I mean the 4th of July, they took him and he was drafted. In 1941? In 41. <clears throat> so, we were supposed to go on a date, 4th of July. Mm -hmm. So he called me up from uh, Fort Sheridan. Yeah, I think that's where he in Fort Sheridan, and, and he called me up and he says, "Well, I guess I won't be able to see you Fourth of July." I says, well, "Why not?" He says, "Oh, they got us over here and we're stuck." Stuck, huh? So I didn't <clears throat> see him till that Christmas. So you didn't really go on any dates with Grandpa. No. You went and met him up at places because mm -hmm. Grandpa had no money because he was in the yeah. service. Was he in the service in Chicago? Like, was he or was he uh, just for a charity? And I see where they. Had. Oh, he went. Oh, he went. He went overseas uh, in uh, 40, 43. Uh, let's see. We got married. Forty-one. I got engaged in forty-two. <clears throat> and forty-three, he went overseas. So, from the time you met Grandpa, was Grandpa in the service when you met him in forty-one? He was no. our no. What was he doing then? Was he just going? To, he was, was he just working? working? Where was he working? Some foundry or somewhere. Oh, they're making thirty cents an hour. Thirty cents an hour. <laughs> so this is right after. So this is. Well, it's still kind of the depression, right? <clears throat> yeah, it really was. There, uh, 
Like he used to work maybe about 15, 20 hours a day. Really? So then his mother took all the checks from all her sons. Yeah. Mm. So then you met him. So he was already out of school. Oh, yeah. I didn't even know if he went to high <clears throat> school at the time. I don't think he did. He didn't go to high school? I don't think so. So he got old enough to work and he basically mm -hmm. went to work. And you... Well, Grandma made sure that they, all her sons were working. Oh, I didn't know that. So Bill, Uncle Bill, is the only one that went, I think, to high school. He graduated. Because he graduated with me. <clears throat> Same high school? So, same high school. Kelly High School. I didn't know him at the time. Oh, so you guys were from the same neighborhood, though. Yeah. What neighborhood was it? Uh, 38th and... Uh, oh, little old kids -y. Do you remember what it's called? Is it like Brighton Park? Yeah, that's Brighton Park. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you and Grandpa would meet up um, for a couple of years? Well, my, he was well, in service. Yeah. My dad, my dad didn't want me to get married. Cause we got the way we got married. It was so fast. Everything was done within a month. Because he was getting, because he was drafted. Well, he was already in the service. So when did when you met him? In 41, he wasn't in the service, but then he enlisted, or did he get drafted? No, he got drafted, and uh, we were supposed to go out to Fort in July. Right. And so when, that's when he got drafted. So how long did you know him before he before that 4th of July? Like, how long were you guys, you guys weren't, you didn't even go on a date yet, but you would meet up with him with all your mm -hmm. friends, right? How long did that go for? Uh, that went on for about six months. And then he got drafted, mm -hmm. and then he blew you off because the government wanted him to come work for him. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then he then, came home at Christmas. And then he came home at for Christmas next year. I got engaged. How long was he home for? Uh, about five days. Five days. Seven days. Seven days. Seven day furlough. And you got engaged in that seven days? Mm -hmm. Wow, man, Grandpa was quick. <laughs> Him and Uncle Louie, they both got the same, he got me a set, the engagement ring and the wedding band. Mm -hmm. I didn't know how he was able to do that. Yeah, he had no money, I thought. Yeah. So I don't know how they, how, well, Uncle Louie he was uh, working, I don't know what he was doing. But uh, we were both engaged the same day. What was Uncle Louie's wife's name? Or fiancé then? Uh, Fran, right? And, yeah, and Fran. Franny. Mm -hmm. And we were, uh, we were by Aunt Mary and Uncle Joe's. Well, how did Grandpa and, propose to you? Well, he didn't get on his hands and knees. He just handed me. <laughs> he didn't get on his knees? No. That deep. No. He, I don't think he did. I don't. He just handed it to you, huh? Yeah, he just, you know, and, uh, oh, he went to my dad first. Oh, at least he did that. That was and, good. Uh, he says that he likes, <clears throat> you know, he wants to marry me. My dad says, she's too young. And he says, uh, I love her and I want to marry her. He said, but you're in the service. And that was in the time when he was on furlough. Mm -hmm. And uh, so my dad says, no, I don't want you. He says, you can be engaged, but I don't want you to get married. So what happened is when he wrote me a letter, and he wanted to get married. Mm -hmm. He said all the fellas in his service were all getting married. 
So I talked to my mom and dad, and, and they says, well, when we had a little over two, two or three weeks before we, I had to get my gown and my, uh, uh, you know, headpiece, and I get to get the flowers, and I get, and we couldn't get the flowers, so we had our own girls sending them. Oh, so he had a special leave to come home and get married when you guys mm -hmm. finally decided. So he proposed to you in right before 1942? It was in uh, for Christmas, yeah. Christmas in 41 or 42? 42. Okay, and then you got married in 43. And we got married in 43. In May? May. Yeah. Anyway. May 1st. May 1st. Mm -hmm. In 1943. So how long was he gone? And So he left, well, he had furlough for seven days, he proposed. Then he left for how long? Till May? Uh, he's gone about three years. Three, so he just came home to get married, basically, during this. So what changed uh, your dad's mind? <laughs> well, there was nothing he could do. Uh, he, he told was, him. He says the only thing he was worried about him getting killed. Sure. I imagine you were worried too, right? Oh, yeah. At one time, I remember some fella came, and I thought, this is it. You know, a serviceman came over to the house, and I look at him. He said, "I don't have any bad news." He That's said, good. I don't want you to get scared. He says, "But your husband is worried. How come he's not getting any mail?" I said, "I write him every single day." And I says, "You know, I don't know where the letters are." So then my husband wrote, he wrote and told me that he got about eight letters that one day. Oh. So I don't know, it was held up somewhere there. And then half of that stuff was cut off. That you wrote? Mm hmm Why? Like it was redacted? Yeah. So somebody read it and blocked out, what were you mm -hmm. saying in there? Were you giving no. some secret codes? Or were you just telling them what was going on with the world? Tell them what was going on, and, you know, where I was at, and uh, then if I went somewhere, I would, you know, tell them where I went, and, and uh, I would tell them about NC and then my family. It was only, you know, a lot to write. Mm -hmm. And uh, so he didn't come home till. 1944. Man. Because I think I had Auntie Judy in 1945. Baby booms. Well, these are all baby booms. Yeah, booms. well, of course. Your father was born baby booner, too. So you guys were married for two years before you even saw him? Almost three. Almost three years before you even saw him because he was. But he was in, Dad said he was in New Guinea? Uh, yeah. I was uh, in California when he left for the serv for overseas. You were in California? Mm -hmm. San Luis Obispo. Where were you in California for? Well, that's when uh, when he was going overseas. Oh, he's leaving from there? Yeah, from there. Oh, so you you went out there with him to say goodbye? So they had. Uh, so they had like a big party. Like you see in the they movies have, where they have like these big galas before all the guys a, go off? a big party there. Yeah. Where uh, they had, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, oh, I can't remember, but one actor. And then he was, uh, he had a show, a beautiful show. Mm -hmm. They put on for the service. Uh, Bob Hope? But, uh, yeah, Bob Hope. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And, uh... In San Obispo, California? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so it's a beautiful area there. Yeah. Is that close to San Diego? Is that by Camp Pendleton or anything? I don't, I don't know. know. Well, Grandpa was in the Army, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. So when he went overseas, did he stay in one spot or did he go all different places? Different places. Do you remember any of the places? He was in in uh, New Guinea. Uh-huh. It was all in the south. So he was warm at least. And uh, oh, he developed uh, uh, this uh, oh the yellow jaundice. What do they call jaundice? That? Uh, Yellow was, fever? There was no. That was a different name for it. Well, anyway, he got sick. He developed. Uh, there, so when he came home, we had uh, some government come over, and they had to check him out. So they sent me for for two months. I was getting eleven dollars. For what? <laughs> because he was sick. Oh, and you had to take him to the doctor. Yeah. So and he was... A- after two months, when they came back over here, and he didn't have any of that. So they quit giving me the living dollars. Big deal, living dollars. <laughs> <laughs> so was he in rough shape when he got back? Because he was sick? Uh-huh. Is that why he came no, back? He was, or is, it no, was just the war was before over. was over? Okay. Yeah. So he was just sick because... He was just over. had that yellow, yellow fever or mm-hmm. yellow jaundice. Did he have it the whole time he was there or just at no, the end? Just, he just got sick uh, at the end when he was coming home. He got sick over there because mm-hmm. they had to live in, uh, you know, it, it would have uh, rain. It was a lot of rain in there. Mm-hmm. So where they were uh, in the, these foxholes, mm-hmm. they had water in there and and uh, many of the things, oh, and he would, you know, tell me, and and then with whatever stuff that they uh, that he, they they didn't want me to know, they would just cut it off. So that one time, I remember I got a letter from him, and it was just holy. <clears throat> really? Yeah. Man. So did you and Grandpa? Did you write letters every day? Every day. Did you get one from him almost every day? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Do you? Did you guys save any of your letters? No. None of them. When he come home, he just he wanted to forget it. Ball. Yeah. Did he talk about the war much with you? Never, never mentioned it to me. Never, huh? Never. He wouldn't tell me how bad it, he, you know, was or anything. He used to tell. The people, uh, when we joined the St. Jane Senior Club, mm-hmm. so he used to tell one guy everything that happened to him while he was there. So after uh, Grandpa passed away, this one told me all about it. So there was a lot of times where he you know, the uh, Japanese, you know, were after all of them, and he mm-hmm. almost got killed. And he used to carry uh, this, uh, this, it was uh, like a telephone. Mm-hmm. He used to carry that on his back. And uh, at one time, he had uh, this, uh, bulletproof and you know in the back mm-hmm. and so that's what kept him alive well, so it the bullets would hit that thing mm-hmm. wow it was only bulletproof because he was carrying that phone yeah and if uh, if he didn't have anything because that was all wood and they yeah. he, you know they shot at him quite a few times. So he told this guy, if I didn't have that thing, I would have been killed. Yeah. I can see why he didn't want to tell you that. <laughs> and then he says that uh, there was another warehouse. Uh, it was in New Guinea. It was the other place that he was. Luzon. Luzon? Yeah, Luzon. So this is like Southeast Asia? Yeah, it was in that whole area there. 
that's where kind of it started. That's where the problems all started yeah. because the Japanese were trying to take something from there. I remember reading. Well, he was on the trouble mm -hmm. when uh, the Japs uh, bombed Pearl Harbor. He was on furlough at home. Oh, because that, yeah, that was he, December. He was in in Hawaii. Grandpa was in Hawaii mm -hmm. at the time. Grandpa was in Hawaii mm -hmm. when Pearl Harbor got attacked. Yeah. I did not know that. I didn't either. Holy cow! Because, because that's the uh, the year pro. Uh, that's when he was. Uh, uh, he came in on furlough after that. So he uh, he was there in Hawaii, and he told me how beautiful Hawaii was. So he someday he'll take me there. And uh, but. Not the way, not the way he was mm -hmm. over there. He's because uh, it was one of the worst. So he but, saw it. Yeah, well, he saw. Well, he didn't see part. You know that like he was there the following day after. So he but was. He says that he was there. He saw the way Pearl Harbor was bombed and you know. all. So he was here. Afterwards, he came here afterwards. But he was in Pearl Harbor. He wasn't yeah. at the actual Pearl Harbor. But he was in Hawaii when in, the Jap Hawaii. Japanese bombed. Yeah. He mm. was there. Um, when did you find that out? Well, he told me. It, he didn't tell me about it, but the other guy told me. Get out of here! So this guy, so Grandpa needed to talk to somebody. And he just ended up talking to this guy about because that would have scared the heck out of you if you knew that. I don't even know if my dad knows that. I don't know. I don't think he does. Wow. Did I tell you I went to Pearl Harbor? And uh, he, when we when we, uh, we had a trip going from uh, uh, he used to, he used to belong to the uh, FW. Mm -hmm. So that we had to, we had a trip going. It was very cheap, and so we were going to Hawaii, to California, and then to uh, Las Vegas. So we went to Hawaii first. So we were in Hawaii, I think, about five days, four or five days. And uh, so he was showing me, well, we went to Pearl Harbor and all, you know, so he, he was showing me the places where he was. So that's what and, you found out. Uh, but I mean, actually it was, you know, like they had, uh, you know, where all of these, this big, uh, all the ships were bombed. Mm -hmm. So they had this great big thing made. The memorial. A memorial. Yeah. I've so seen we it. I've been there. To, we went to see it. It, it was a... Uh, I don't know if it was... I saw that three times. You know, because we were in Hawaii three times. And, uh, and it, with Grandpa was only there once. He wouldn't uh, go on the ship. You know, like I went on tours. I mean, on uh, uh, what do you call these? Uh, uh, um, and the boats. But cruises. Cruises, mm -hmm. yeah. So we went there with Andrew Rain. This is after he and died, or is this when he no, was still alive? He just didn't want to. He just didn't want to go. He still. He went with Aunt Steve to Vegas. And Lorraine and I would go out together. So he went with his sister to Vegas to go gamble while you went with your sister to Hawaii. Is it just because he didn't want to go after he took you there once? He said, I'm, he I don't need to go back there. He didn't want to go on water. Because he says he had such a hard time coming back after the war. He had such a bad, it was raining. And the seasick? He, had, he got sick. Oh, so he just didn't want to go on the so cruise because just, he didn't want to get sick. 
He didn't want. He didn't want to go under water at all. He stayed away from water. So it's not that he didn't like Hawaii. It was just that he didn't want no. to go on a cruise for that long across the ocean. So we went. We we flew there. So we then we weren't on water at all mm -hmm. for that whole time that we were there on vacation. So it was like two weeks. We had had mm -hmm. off and. So in the two weeks time we went to California to, we went to uh, uh, San Francisco mm -hmm. and that's one of the worst places that we ever went. Why, wow, was it rainy and nasty? It was so cold yeah. there. And we took a suit, I took up my bathing suit and all, and never got to, we never got to wear it. Not even once. And, and uh, 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 we met uh, oh, about five people on this cruise, six people. So we all, you know, uh, went together. Mm -hmm. So we went day after day. We had the same people, and we had uh, the. We, uh, when, uh, you know, Grandpa and I had the best, uh, you know, place to stay. All the others, they all had regular rooms. Mm -hmm. And we had a room with a refrigerator. Well, how'd you get that? I don't know. Just because you're the Barnes's. We just so lucky. That's how we roll. <laughs> and uh, so they used to come, you know, come up. Come to our place. Oh, yeah, you were the party room. You got and the fridge and everything. Up, we had a party every single day. Wow. So the in San Francisco? Yeah, yeah. No, this was in Hawaii. Oh, this was in Hawaii. In Hawaii. Yeah, something with the Barnaces in Hawaii. And uh, when we were in San Francisco, we had just an ordinary room. Now, we had a real nice room in uh, Las Vegas. But uh, in Hawaii, we had the best. So every day we partied when uh -huh. we were there. And they took us to the uh, Hawaiian uh, the pineapple plantation. Oh, sure, like Dole or whatever. And uh, so they, they showed us how they canned the pineapples uh -huh. and all. And then you eat. All the pineapple you want. <coughs> yeah. Oh, and and right from there, it was the sweetest. The best the pineapple best. you ever had. Yeah. And then uh, uh, we had that luau mm -hmm. in Hawaii. And uh, so we all sat together. You know, we were all, every place we went, we all had to stay together. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the luau, <laughs> my brother-in-law, no, my, uh, who the heck, my brother-in-law wasn't with us, and one of the fellas, we, we were uh, uh, going, you know, to buy more liquor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so of course. So we got through, we, you know, we're going back to our hotel. And we went right through, and they were having a Japanese wedding. Oh, really? Yeah, and all of us are marching <laughs> right through the wedding. Going through the wedding to get your booze. Yeah. <laughs> we sat right, we sat right, we sat right. <laughs> Bunch of Polacks going through the uh, Japanese wedding in Hawaii. They were all, we were all Polacks. Uh-huh. Well, that's a great story. And... Uh, so we all had to laugh, you know, laugh when we, when we came back to our hometowns. So they all came to our place. So then we'd sit up and get something, you know, get hot dogs or hamburgers mm -hmm. or something and bring it all upstairs. And we mix the drinks and all. And everybody had a different kind of drink. Sure. But uh, that was a lot of fun. We had we had a, a lot. Of it. I didn't know the people too much in, uh, in San Francisco. 
But when we got to Hawaii, we were all. Good time. After that, we all had, uh, you know, we followed one another all over. In Las Vegas, we had all, all of us had rooms closed together. What year so, did you go to Hawaii with Grandpa? Do you remember? Hmm? What year did, did you go to Hawaii with Grandpa? Uh -huh. Was this after my dad was born? I think after Judy, after Judy was born. Because there's a four year difference between. I think it was in between yeah. that time. What was your honeymoon? Never had one. So that Hawaii trip was basically yeah. your honeymoon. So that's what uh, and Grandpa said. This is our, our honeymoon. I said, honeymoon with all these people? <laughs> <laughs> but it was, that, that I think was the nicest trip that we had ever had. And it was a very cheap one. Through the v VA or through the VFW? We never had to pay for our meals. Oh, wow. Every place that we went to, we had three meals a day. All we inclusive. never had to pay for any of them. Did you guys try surfing? Mm -hmm. Did you guys no. try surfing? No. We didn't go in the water at all. No? <laughs> in Hawaii, they had such a beautiful, uh, you know, place where, where we stayed. I think that was the... Uh, the uh, Hawaiian, <clears throat> Hawaiian village, I think it was called. And they had a beautiful pool over there. Did you, you go in there? Me. So you guys just drank all day? Mm -hmm. <laughs> did you go to the beach? And not go in the water, but you just beach. go... We saw the beach. We Where did you water. drink? In the hotel room the whole time? Yeah. We didn't drink in the hotel. We'd stay in there and we'd see the show. Oh, I see. See, and then but they had the luau from there. And, uh, we then, no, then we went to the airline, island of Hawaii. Mm -hmm. We flew there. Uh, or, no, the big island of, yeah, of Hawaii. We flew there and we stayed there most of the day. Mm -hmm. Well, everybody didn't go. There was only four of us that went. So uh, we were gone almost all day because we wanted to see everything in the, uh, in the island of Hawaii. Sure. And then we came back. We uh, came back and then we, we went to, uh, for our dinner. And, and beautiful meals. You know, anything you wanted on the, uh, not like we have over here. Fish meals, yeah. And we had uh, steak. There was one place in, in uh, Las Vegas that we had when we were there that they had steak. Mm -hmm. Baked potato and a salad. Well, it didn't cost us. No, it was free. Wow. In another place that we went to, we had a half and half uh, steak and uh, uh, what's that other stuff? That orange, when you when you cook it, it turns orangey. Orangey. Sh not shrimp. Oh, not shrimp. Lobster. Lobster. Or, yeah. Steak and lobster. Ooh, that's good. Yeah. yeah. Half and half. Ah, uh, yeah. Surf and turf. Mm -hmm. Man. So. And we really had some good meals over there. I bet. Mm hmm. So did Grant was Grandpa um, when he took you to Hawaii? Did he get a Did he get emotional when he went back there? Or did he kind of block? He it? did. Yeah. He did. He was, you know, he looked around, 
But he wouldn't talk about it. No. He probably couldn't believe that he was there, uh, and it wasn't yeah. planes in the air bombing. See, he went there the next day. He was there for uh, seven days, you know, in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. So that's why he knew so much about Hawaii. So, w did he ever? Did he ever find out how where he was? From relation to Pearl Harbor, was he close to it? Did he get woken up by the bombs dropping? Well, there weren't there weren't any more bombs. They only dropped them that one day. Right, but was he? Did he, he hear wasn't them? There, oh, no, the following day. He, oh, so he got there the following yeah. day. Okay. See, it was all over with when he got when they found out about it. Oh, everybody was. Well, but he says he saw the, you know, like where where it was, mm -hmm. you know where. He saw the know, aftermath. Yeah, the after. So the actual, so where was he on December seventh? Was he still in the states? Was he was he in California? And then he flew to Hawaii the next day. No, he was in. Or was he in Hawaii? Yeah, he, he was just in wasn't, Hawaii. He just he wasn't was at Pearl Harbor. Yeah. Got it. Mm -hmm. So he's probably at a base or something in Hawaii. Because he told me, you know, he, why he wrote to say at the time they weren't uh, uh, checking up my out, you know, where he was able to tell me, mm -hmm. uh, you know, about what happened in uh, at Pearl Harbor. Man. But he did. He didn't care for Hawaii. No. Well. I'm sure that he saw a lot of bad things there, but he didn't care that much for Hawaii. I think he he liked more is when we went uh, to Hawaii, you know, from the VFW. Where, but he wouldn't go with me to Hawaii, to the island of Hawaii. He said, in fact, he said, I think all of the women went. And the men all stayed back. Uh, stayed back. Hmm. He wouldn't go with me. Uh, I'm sure they had their reasons. So uh, after that, uh, we were all by ourselves. I, all the ladies. Mm -hmm. We all went. I think there was five of us. So we had to make a reservation to go, and he. The guys got a. Uh, they we we uh, had a, a look, notice. There was five couples. Mm -hmm. There were ten of us mm -hmm. in one car. In one car? How'd you do that? <laughs> we managed. Everybody sitting on everybody's lap. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, we had one car between us and uh, you know and every time we have tried to get in that car we would laugh it would be f so funny yeah look like a clown car i'm sure <laughs> <laughs> so we we took the car that winter and we went all around the island mm -hmm. so some of them couldn't see what was going on because <laughs> somebody's <laughs> they're looking at somebody's the back of somebody's head but this car was a big car. Well, I you would know, imagine it fit ten had, people. Uh, the like bench seats. This, this way. Yeah. So they ordered the big, the biggest car they can find. I don't know what, what make, but uh, this is how we went all around the island. And uh, I don't even know who was driving. I think it was, uh, he, they just had a map. Mm hmm. It just and went everywhere. He said, Don't ask me to check the map. <laughs> this is one thing I, I couldn't. Every time my Grandpa and I went on vacation somewhere, he'd say, Now watch the map. So let me, tell me where, where to turn. <laughs> I say, He says, are we going to go left or right? Did I you said, know? I don't know. <laughs> oh, 
You get mad, huh? You get so mad at me. This is for crying out loud. When are you ever going to burn? If, if, you, if I'm supposed to go left to right. Mm -hmm. I don't think I ever did learn. <laughs> it's like my mom, same thing. So when Grandpa came back from the war, because it was ending, he was sick. Did he seem different? Did he seem a little he, hardened by the war? He, uh... Did it take him a while? He was a changed person. He was? Oh, yeah. You know, I made a party for him. Uh -huh. And uh, Uncle Louie and him came in at the same time. And uh, so we're going down. There was, there's a place and there was a place in, uh, in Kedzie. Uh -huh. And uh, I made his party for him. And he didn't know it was for him. He thought it was for Uncle Louie. So funny, I told him, I said, no, the party is for you. Because everybody I was surprised. Uh -huh. But Uncle Louie and him came down the same time. Uh -huh. And so then finally we told them, you know, they said, no, the party is for you. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> so then, then they went around and, and, you know, talked to everybody. But it was really a nice party. So this is right after he got home, or is this after he got better, or was he still kind of sick? No, uh, after he got home, I think he was home about a week. I, I already had this party planned for mm -hmm. him. Huh. Did, when he came home, did he... How did you meet him? Did you get like? Did you go to the train station or the airport or where? Where do you remember where you we saw him for the first time? I I think he came came on his own. Oh, he did. I think so. So he showed up to wherever you were. Yeah. So I think he kind of surprised me. Oh, I see. And where you you were living with great grandma at the time? No, I was living at my with my mom. Right. What? What? Lived all of, all the time there. Where? What? What? Uh, do you remember? Was that the house on Thirty Eighth Street? No. Where was this house? In in, in Brighton Park. Do you remember the street? In, yeah, Forty First Place. Forty First Place in what? Thirty Ten was Forty Forty First Place. Oh, Thirty Ten was. It's right. It's about a block from Archer Avenue. I see. So he showed up there on the mm -hmm. doorstep. So you didn't know he was coming home at that day? No, I oh, didn't. Oh, man. That was a good surprise, huh? Yeah. Came home was, oh, my gosh. You know, because I knew he was coming home that week. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know at the time that it was going to be. He's, I don't know for sure what time, you know, when I'll be home. He said, but I'm on my way. And uh, when he did, I think it was like two days b before his party. Really? Yeah. Was it, what time of year was it? Was it summertime, winter, or fall? Uh, summertime. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Man. Yeah, because, let's see, he, uh, where was he at the time? He was out of the, uh, Hiding so mm -hmm. when they uh, <clears throat> when they mentioned uh, that the war is over with. Oh, okay. So when I heard about it, and then he wrote and told me, he says, "Well, I'll be coming home," and they didn't let him come home right away. I want to make sure the war was over first. <laughs> I think uh, they weren't believing it. I don't think they really believed it. Well, I mean, that was four years long. Yeah. Do you remember where you were the day when you found out that Pearl Harbor was bombed? Do you remember how you found out? Oh, well, I was at home, you know, by my mom's. Mm -hmm. So did you find it on the radio or a newspaper? Yeah, we, I think we were on the radio. Because it happened, was it at nighttime here? Because in Hawaii... 
with Hawaii's behind us. No. Lisa, Lisa, and uh, and Matt were married at, in Pearl Harbor. Lisa and Matt were married there. Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. The anniversary. The day of Pearl Harbor. No, not the day of Pearl Harbor. Lisa and Matt were married 10 years, I think. They got married, that's why they got married on an island. So they celebrated their 10th anniversary. Oh, I see what you're saying. In Pearl Harbor. At Pearl Harbor. Mm -hmm. So you found out about it, but you didn't know Grandpa was in Hawaii when Pearl Harbor was bombed? No. Man, you'll be found out afterwards. Mm -hmm. They were not heard of them. And I said, what the heck were you doing there? And he said, nothing. He says, that was our days. We could have done anything we wanted to. When you're he on He was just on furlough, just yeah. a break. Yeah. And he was in, just happened to be in Hawaii on the furlough. Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh. Man, oh, man, was he lucky to not be on that base. Yeah. Well, he wasn't, he wasn't in that area right. anyway. But still, it's, I mean... Those, it, I think those are mostly all sailors. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Navy. There was a naval, yeah, the, the fleet. Navy. Mm-hmm. Well, thank God he wasn't in the Navy, huh? Oh, my gosh. All in the... And then I met uh, some people when I was in San Luis Obispo. And... Uh, one of them, she worked over there, and she was uh, uh, she was a waitress. Mm-hmm. So, so that one day, she says to me, "You know that they're kind of short, you know, people. You know, she says that that uh, they're not very quiet in the morning." She said, why don't you come with me? So that day, that grandpa couldn't come in. So it was one day that he stayed wherever in, wherever the barracks were or whatever. And uh, so I went with her. So they asked me, I was going to have breakfast there. So they asked me if I wanted to you know, uh, do wait- waitress work. I said, never did my waitress work in my life. <laughs> so she says, the girl says, well, why don't you know, just, you know, at the front there. She says, you know, there, there usually is a net crowd, maybe a couple of people or so. So there were three, three people. So they, I, you know, poured the coffee for them and with the white water. Every and when they, when I was poured the water, dropped a glass and uh, poured the water. I almost poured it on this one guy's head. <laughs> and you were just doing it to be nice. You were just helping this woman yeah. out. And I I told him I says I quit. <laughs> <laughs> and she says, well, she says you know. So I think I got paid with. Five dollars or something. And this is when, this is right before Grandpa's going. He was supposed to go over. Oh, man. How long were you in, over there in California waiting for him to go? Was it like a couple days or a week? Oh, no. I was there about, uh, about two months. Oh. Oh. So he was stationed out there mm-hmm. and you went out there. You guys were already married. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For two months you lived on a base? Uh, we didn't, oh no, he was on base, but I had a room, I got a room over there. Like an apartment? Yeah. So did he have to live there and you lived at the apartment, or did he live with you at the apartment he worked no, on he the base? he stayed with me every day, mm-hmm. but then one day, there was one day where he couldn't come with, you know, okay. live with me. The, the, the weekends they had off 
Mm-hmm. So I, I, I mean, I, you know, with with this other couple, we went we you know, we would do things together. I see. But during the week, he would come home. Yeah. But would he sleep there, or would he have to go back to the base? Oh, he could, no, he was, he always had to go back. Okay. Like Saturday and Sunday, he stayed with me. I see. So you went out there just be, to be with him because he was yeah. your husband, knowing that he's got to go fight. Well, we knew that. Uh, I knew that he was going to go overseas. Mm-hmm. So he asked me, you know, if I would come. And I remember I took the train there. Ah, it was one of the worst rides I ever had in my life. Why is that? Dead. A uh, train stopped at every every oh. little area. So you took the cheap ticket. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, whatever you know, when the time that I was supposed to be there, I should have been there. Mm-hmm. Like he was expecting me mm-hmm. to come in. It took me almost like three days to get there. Oh man. And actually, he figured a day and a half that I should have been there. Um, but I was on one of these milk trains, as they called them. And then my mother uh, made me sandwiches mm-hmm. you know, to be on the train. So what happened? Oh, I'm Hello. sorry. That's okay. So what happened? You got lunch, Craig? It's noon. Oh, I had lunch. You had to go for lunch at okay. 12 o'clock. Oh, no wonder she's here. Well, anyway, my mom, I had new uh, stuff that I brought here, took with me. New blouses. And I had a uh, robe that I, you know, I started to do, to put the stuff in the cedar chest. Mm-hmm. Because for cedars, they gave, every time we graduate, they always, well, furniture used to give us, give you a cedar chest. Mm-hmm. So that's what I, I was putting on my stuff. And it has, and it had a smell to it. Mm-hmm. So, so I put my, my sandwiches right on top of there. It's robe. Well, when I get on the plane, I mean on the train, I figured I'm going to you know, have one of my sandwiches. But it was hamburger. Mm-hmm. And uh, I couldn't eat it. Because they, uh, all these sandwiches smelled from... Of the cedar. From the cedar. Oh, so it's not like you're eating wood. Yeah. <laughs> so I tore them all away. I had a body. Oh, too bad. And I didn't have too much money at the time. No. Because I, I wasn't getting, uh, you know, like you get so much money from the government every mm-hmm. month. And I think I only started to get, yeah, because we, we, we just got married. Mm-hmm. So it took a couple months before I got my first check. So I think I did take get one of my checks before I left. Man. So I didn't have too much money, and I wasn't making that much money. Mm-hmm. Were you working at that time? Yeah. Where were you working? A crane company. Crane company. Yeah. Like a secretary job? You know, I I was a clerk, a clerk of some I forget what. What they called me, my stamp. Mm, okay. Uh, you know, invoices. Oh, I see. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like the job, but you know, and so I took a leave of absence. Mm-hmm. And they all knew, you know, him because they were <clears throat> all at the wedding. Oh yeah. I had eight people that I invited from. Uh, from work. Work and they were all at where did you guys? Hmm? Where did you guys get married? It's a church, St. Pancras. Where do you remember what street it's on? 
it was their big uh, church on Kedzie uh -huh. in uh, 41st. Uh -huh. And then, then they built a new one on Forty uh, Second and uh, or Forty Third in Sacramento. Which one was the one that you were married in? The one in Kelsey. The first one. Mm -hmm. And then did you have a a party at a, a banquet hall? Oh yeah. Was it by the church? No, uh, it was on. Uh, In Sacramento, mm -hmm. where we where we lived, it was we had a they had a hall there, had a band. Oh, you gotta go to lunch. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hi, Harriet. Yeah. Coming down for lunch. I can bring her down. It's oh, my okay. it's my grandma. Oh, that's your grandma. Yeah. Oh, I'm Eric. Hi, I'm Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, you. We were just talking about some old memories. Oh, okay, that's great. All right then. So whenever you're ready, okay? Yeah. We'll see you downstairs. I'll bring you down. I'm not even, I'm not even hungry. When I have a big uh, breakfast, because I had a, uh, it's, it's, uh, what, okay, what, what does, uh, this, uh, the one that's got the, they always have the breakfast. Like, I forget what they call it. Oatmeal, pancakes, waffles? No, no it's uh, a name of the. Uh, the name of the breakfast? Of, of the, what is the one that has the, uh, uh, the yellow. The yellow? Yeah, the yellow is... Omelette? No, the name, the place. Oh, McDonald's. Man, yeah, McDonald's. Oh. Yeah, I right. had a McDonald's. Oh, yeah, it's a McDonald's. Mm -hmm. What, do you have like an Egg McMuffin? Yeah. yeah, but I don't have it with a muffin. I have it now with rye bread. Oh, well, you're healthy. And oh, I just love it. So, oh, when I, you know, when they see me, automatic. They give it to you? <laughs> it's already all made up for me. Mm -hmm. So, uh, one one last thing before we can go have lunch, I guess. Uh, if you, So, pretend that this right now is going to be seen by Lucy and Lincoln and by all of Lisa's kids and Kristen's kids when they're 30. So, when, so 30 years from now. What do you want them to remember about you and Grandpa. Grandpa was the most wonderful man. Mm -hmm. He was good. He was a good father. And uh, I just couldn't say no for him. And what about you? Well, <laughs> Why? I guess I was it was good. It yeah. was good to the kids. Well, Judy always says that I re she remembers me saying if how, how did she say that? She says that I said at one time if she was if she would. Like, like I wanted her to her and never been born. Oh, she would sometimes. She she said that you said that she, you wish yeah. that never she. Oh, she's deep. That's why. I said, Judy, I don't ever remember saying that. She says, my, you did. Yeah, you maybe were I arguing said, with her about something crazy, and people say dumb things like that. But I said, uh, I said maybe I did say something when when you got me aggravated sure. or something. I wish you would never were born. Yeah. She said, I, and she says, my, that hurt me so. She says, and I'll never forget that. Oh, she's got I said, should be things like that you should forget. Yeah, that's not what the... Goodness sake, you're, you're married over. I said, you're 70 years old. <laughs> and she still has a grudge. And I says, and you still. Oh, 
Gosh. You see what you know, mention it? And I said, the science tell you know, you're dead. I said, did I ever say anything like that to you? And he says, no. He says, Mom, you were the most wonderful mother. <laughs> of course he did. <laughs> so Dad was your favorite. <laughs> I always, uh, you know, like your father. Yeah. Well, he was good because he was the best baby. He never crawled. He just got up and walked. It's well, it it ate after eighteen months. Woo. Yeah, that's right. Lincoln was, was or Lucy was kind of that way. Yeah. yeah. Eighteen months old when he walked, and you know we were in, in Market Park. And uh, they had something going on that day, so we decided to go there. And he got got up, and he just he's walking around, and I'm looking at him, and yet never thinking that he's walking. That he's walking, and I'm looking at him, and I says to Grandpa, "This is Mike. Look at." Look at it. And he's looking and he says, What? <laughs> and I says, Look at your son is walking. Oh, he just grabbed him and he hung and he held on to him. Oh, that's a great story. And he right away after that you couldn't stop him. Yeah. yeah never saw oh. If there's one thing that you could uh like what's the one thing I know Grandpa's been gone for a while, but what's the one thing you miss about him the most? Well, I think togetherness. Just being with him? Being with him, sleeping with mm -hmm. him. Vacations? And, mm -hmm. Vacations? And they mostly, I, mostly vacations. And him cooking for you. I remember he used to cook for you when you were still working and he was at yeah. home. You know, I come home from work. And there, there was a drink waiting for me. Man, oh man, he took care he of me. And he did, and uh, he cooked for me. Uh, Tom was already married. Your dad was mm -hmm. married, and so was uh, Auntie Judy. And uh, when I come home from work, because he wasn't working at the time, he was uh, disability. He was on disability. Uh -huh. So he called me up at work. He says, you let, you let this and this out. I didn't want me to do it. So and I, when I'd have a uh, round stay, he knew what to do with that. Because he remembers his mother. Oh, okay. So he, he made it the same way as his mother. So I come home. I come home. I uh, drive. Well, I was always already. I had my car and he had his. So uh, I park and I come upstairs and I give him a kiss and he'd have a glass of, of uh, wine ready for me and All right. dinner was ready. That's great. Mm -hmm. What were some of the things that he liked to do? Did he, like, I know he liked to go for walks, because I remember going on walks with him when I was a baby. Oh, that one time. What? He went for a walk, and he got lost. Where? In the neighborhood. He just got lost? Well, that's when he was uh, already, uh, I think just maybe about a month before he uh, died. Oh. He went for a walk. In Oak Lawn? Yeah, no, mm -hmm. And uh, somebody recognized him. And he, he you know, they didn't make an issue. But uh, when I came home from work, because I didn't, uh, you know, no, I wasn't, I wasn't working at that time. Mm -hmm. he, he says he's going for a walk. And, uh, I said, well, where are you going to go? And he says, I don't know, just probably around the neighborhood here. 
Did he not go for a walk before that for a while? Was this the first time? Well, he, he from- used to always. But uh-huh. This is the first time that he didn't know where he was at. Oh, okay. So then when I found out about that, I wouldn't let him go by himself. I said, if we go for a walk, we're going to go for a walk together. And we didn't even make an issue out of him losing, you know, that he couldn't find his somebody. Because this woman came, you know, came, and I knew who she was. And she recognized him. She said, Mike, what are you doing over here? And he says, I'm just taking a walk. He didn't even know where he was at. So she brought him back? Yeah. And that was about a month before he passed away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, see, but, enough, but his whole life he liked to go for walks. Yeah, he did. Yeah? He was like my dad. My dad used to go downtown. Mm-hmm. Walk from, from uh, you know, from uh, 41st and walk all the way to, to downtown. Really? Yeah. And walk back? Yeah. That's a, nice, that's say, a walk. I'd say, Dad, why, why do you do that? Because my dad loved to walk. Hmm. So then if if we weren't going to my aunt's, so he'd go walk, go downtown. I said, what do you do downtown? And turn around and come home. He says, I had to just turn around. He says he was uh, stay straight, mm-hmm. and then he'd walk back. And he says, "I don't know, Dad." He says, "Empty there." And then you married a man who does the same thing. Maybe not as far on the lawn, but like to walk. But but he never walked that far. Yeah, just around the neighborhood, huh? Mm-hmm. And I didn't uh, think that it. And especially that day, I never even, never even thought. Because he used to go for a walk every single day. Oh, did he? Every day, he says, I'm going to go take a walk. And I'd say, okay. I said, I'll have supper ready when... So right before I'm supper, you go for a walk? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What else? Did he like to read? Did he like to... Uh... Uh, listen to music, listen to baseball, watch baseball. Oh, baseball and football. He never watched, he never cared to watch hockey. No. Baseball and football, baseball the Cubbies. Baseball and football, especially the Cubs. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, well, whenever we had a chance, I used to take him, you know, to uh, the Ridge Mall. Chicago oh, the Ridge movies. Mall. Yeah. He used so to take we'd us. Go, we'd go and, uh, you know, i do a little shopping. Mm-hmm. And then we'd go see a movie. Yeah. Then we'd see one movie. Then we'd go to, to the other one. you sneak one in the other one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I never stopped you. No. And then I used to leave him. You know, because he, he, and that's when he had uh, trouble walking. Mm-hmm. So I used to leave him in, uh, they had a, a place there where they sold TVs. Mm-hmm. So I'd ask the fella, is it okay if I leave my husband here? <laughs> and he said, yeah, go ahead, do your shopping. And the two would be gabbing. <laughs> Did Grandpa have a good sense of humor? Was he funny or was he... Sometimes. Sometimes. Was he... uh, Did he get emotional? Like, did he he tear up a lot? He was was a very emotional man. When your mom passed away, when his mom passed away, I never saw anybody cry as much as he did. And, uh, And when his dad died, He's, he, he was, I think when my mom, uh, no, he was already gone with my, my mom. Uh, 
we went somewhere to visit somebody. I don't know if it was my, oh, that was my dad. Mm -hmm. He was, he'd go there almost every day to visit my dad when he was at uh, a little, little company of Aunt. Little company of Mary? Little company of Mary. Mm -hmm. My dad was there. My dad had a stroke, mm -hmm. so they uh, mentioned, the doctor mentioned that we were going to have to put him into a home. Well, he heard that, and he, says, he thought to himself, he's not going to have anybody put him into his home. So my um, uh, grandpa was there. The day before he passed away, and and Aunt Verge stayed there overnight, and this was uh, Halloween. Really? And she kept praying. She said, "Dear Lord, don't let my father die on Halloween." So he died the following day, and which was All Saints. Mm -hmm. November first. Mm -hmm. Wow. So that's how I can always remember, yeah. you know, when my dad passed away. It's always an easy. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know when my mom passed away. I remember we had the five sisters that are over there. Mm -hmm. We that's the day we buried my mother. That that picture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is the picture. This is the See day this. Grandma died. Great Grandma died. Yeah, this yes, day. So I gave shorts. So you were clothes. Because we all wore shorts because it was so hot. Put that there so we can see. It was very hot that day. So it must have been in the middle of the summer, huh? Mm hmm. Hmm. Yeah. All right, Graham. I'll let you go and have some lunch. You gotta be a little hungry, huh? Not even hungry. You're not gonna go down? Yeah, I'm gonna go down. Okay. I'll have to go down. Let's stop this. Well, thanks for talking with me, Graham. Come back. I will come back. This is great.